Hello everyone, it's Hunter yet again from Cool Ridge Productions, back with another steam locomotive build. I know you'll kind of see the channel's going to be bombarded with about three of these uh, steam locomotive vi videos, but um, I'm hoping, since I'm just recording the uh, three locomotive builds one after another in real time, not in uh, YouTube or posted time, uh, that the James uh, steam locomotive went over pretty well. But this is a completely custom build of mine, it's a little narrow gauge engine, I'll even talk about the track briefly. Uh, completely custom built. I had a lot of this dark red, uh, the curved pieces I used for the boiler left over uh, are just kind of laying around and I wanted to use them. I built my uh, James, the uh, larger steam locomotive, and I thought I want to build another one but completely custom. That's what I did here. I actually call this engine Pewit. For those of you who may not know, at least uh, in the, on the European side, a lot of engines do have names. In America, I'm not 100% sure. I think a lot of them are just class named. And uh, a couple of them, you know, like the 1225 Polar Express, some of them get names. But it seems like in uh, over in Europe and all that, um, in England, they seem to name almost every engine. So I went ahead and I named this. These are kind of based off European style uh, narrow gauge steam locomotives, which I just looked up pictures of them. I kind of looked at a couple of them, and then I went ahead and just kind of hodgepodge my own together. Now, what I like about this build is it's, it's as big as my hand. You know, I can fit it in my hand. It's very easy to move around, very easy to display. It's a small build, um, but the boiler's pretty simple. Uh, it's just... A set of those curved pieces. If you own the 2018 uh, Hogwarts Express, I just did that but made it smaller. Uh, I did the front in black and the front of the boiler is kind of a little different. I wanted to keep some studs in there because it's always hard to balance stud and not stud. I know some people completely like to remove studs and other people like me, I try to leave a little bit on there because it is Lego and it do the studs give that Lego feel. It's uh, looking really nice. I designed these little buffers down here. I'll go ahead and pick the engine up, actually. Picking the engine up. Uh, I just designed these, this little tiny buffer beam, and then I put some details on the front like a lamp, and just another piece of equipment up here. I'm not 100% sure what all equipment goes into the front of an engine. To be honest with you, I think maybe some brake lines and stuff like that. But I just wanted to kind of put some detail on there so it looked good. Kind of the studded area on the boiler, I really liked how I used one of those curved uh, pieces you find on the bottom of sets, kind of to give it a smooth running. I uh, used it for the front of the boiler, it worked out great. Uh, something I can show you here too in my hand is the coupling rods on this. I used very small wheels uh, to get the narrow gauge feel. And then I just attached these pistons on the side that gives it its ability to look like it's running on the wheels, but it's obviously not. Um, this is more of a model to look at, not to really play with. It's pretty fragile, especially down here, uh, but it looks great nonetheless. I used those sand blue to accent it. Um, the pictures I have online on my Instagram look phenomenal, make it look uh, just pops really well. Uh, the cab on this design is a three stud uh, by six. I did go with the standard six uh, wide design for the cab, but the boiler and everything is only a four stud build. Uh, another thing to look at on here is the whistle. A very basic whistle, but it looks great. I love the look of it. I didn't put a dome on uh, this engine. I looked at a couple narrow gauge engines. Some of them have them, some of them don't. But like I said, this being a completely custom build, not trying to replicate any engine, I went ahead and built it how I wanted. I love the look of the smooth top. The uh, two brick, I guess three brick tall funnel. Looks fantastic with this little ice cream piece of smoke. I have some clear uh, ports in there for the windows, which you didn't see if you watched my larger build. Uh, I didn't have that on there. It was just hard to get everything in there. So some detail will be lacking here and there on those. On the side, I'll kind of turn around. I have a ladder right here, more buffers, and a little coal hopper and a back window. It's uh, a nice little build here. Let's see if that focuses. There we go. It might be focused. Sometimes on my camera it doesn't look focused. And I bring it up on my computer and it looks, uh, it's really focused. But I have the uh, coal bunker back here. Uh, granted, I don't have kind of a backside on it to keep it. It kind of looks like the coal is just going to fall out. But it was a last minute add-on because originally when I designed this, it was going to have a tender. This original build was going to be a miniature engine with a tender. And that didn't come up, so I had to kind of squeeze in a bunker right at the end. I think it still looks good for kind of cramming it in there. It doesn't stick out too far, but it does the job. If you look at it from an angle, 
kind of in here you can see I have some orange translucent orange studs and some uh, other kind of handle pieces in there so there is very minor detail if I take the roof off let's see if it'll be nice take the roof I guess I just took the whole wall so that's nice I put a shovel in there for detail and then just those two kind of levers in there just to give it a little bit of detail on the inside nothing crazy I'm gonna go ahead I gotta pick this up to put it all back together um, I guess while I'm putting it all back together this is the track uh, it's just the uh, plates or tiles and plates I had to modify it so it's actually a three stud wide track base you can fit three studs in the middle it's a very weird build but for display purposes it's not too big of a deal let's put the engine back on so I uh, hope you like it um, I'm really hoping these new little steam locomotive builds uh, kind of become a little hit or at least enjoyed on my channel uh, don't get me wrong I love building Star Wars but this is just a little different task and what I can do so I hope you all enjoyed it we got one more steam locomotive left than the original three I built so please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in my next video.